Hi, in this video I'm condensing down to 10 minutes what has been uh, months or even years of refinement of the technique to develop a sheet negative film, in this case it's 8x10 film in trays. So this is tray development, which is the most simple and cheapest way to develop negative film but has a great flexibility. If you are new to film photography or if you are struggling with uh, scratches or marks or just an even development in your film, uh, you can benefit from this video and I organized it in uh, 15 little uh, tips or suggestions to follow to get really nice and clean uh, negatives. I think this is going to be my most important video and it can avoid you so much frustration. So let's uh, dive right into it. So let's start with number one. This is even before development and it's uh, you need to get rid of dust. So the most important thing to do is to dust off every time before loading the film, your film holders. And I do this with uh, an anti-static brush. I really dust off the holder completely and the dark slide as well and I just make sure that there is no contamination whatsoever and then once the negative will be loaded I store the film holder in new ziploc bags and I don't take them out until it's time to uh, take the image take the shot you need to clean obviously also the surface or the changing tent you're working on and uh, your camera quite often. Number two is use gloves. This is not only for safety because some of the chemicals are uh, indeed toxic, but also it will avoid you to, to get uh, finger marks and oils on the negatives. And most importantly, it will avoid to uh, transfer heat uh, from the hands to the film so that you can have marks of uh, uneven development in some areas of the film. Number three is that we use a single tray for a single function every time. So I have this is my pre-soak, development, and stop, and fixer. And as you can see, using this tray for uh, it's fine for development but using it for different option this would be problematic number four is to pre-soak the negatives this is important because it will give a more even start of the development once the negatives are transferred from the pre-soak bath to the developing bath don't soak all the negatives at once because this is going to uh, make them stick together tip number five it's practice how to transfer a stack of negatives. This can be difficult because as you can see, the central negatives tend to slide down, especially after the developing bath, the emulsion gets very soft and the negatives very slippery. So you want to make sure you develop or learn a technique where you can safely transfer all the negatives together. Suggestion number six is that to not develop too many sheets of film at a time, ideally maximum four at the beginning. And this is because as we have seen, it's kind of difficult to transfer more than three or four negatives at one time. And that because as we will see later, you want to have a consistent and fast shuffling of the negatives in the development bath. Number seven, uh, it's use a development time that is sufficiently long, ideally longer than seven minutes. And this is so that uh, whatever happens in the development at the beginning or at the end when you're transferring the film, uh, this is not going to affect the overall long development time. Number eight, uh, this may seem uh, trivial, but uh, remember to use fresh chemicals. I use a single use, a single shot developer that is HC110. And this uses a very small amount of chemicals, but I can throw it away and use fresh developer every time. And then check that your stock solution bottles are tightly sealed and that uh, the chemicals are not expired. Okay, so let's go now to see what is the actual procedure of handling the negatives in the bath. 
So you want to transfer all the negatives together so that the development starts at an even time and then you want to shuffle them at the beginning once quickly to get them evenly exposed uh, to the developer solution and then you want to shuffle every 30 seconds so this means that if you have two negatives it will be every 15 seconds to uh, move the bottom negative to the top if it's three negatives as in this case it will be every 10 seconds four negatives i will do a continuous slow shuffling of the negatives even now after years of developing film i rarely do more than four negatives at one time tip number 10 is that if you want to have consistent results and you are developing one single negative use a dummy negative so take an old reject film and just process this two sheet together so that you won't have a different process if you have one single negative and you're not going to have any shuffle because you have just that one single negative okay so we're going to look now at the procedure on how to shuffle the negatives you want to take all the stack lift it off the water slide off the bottom negative or just a little bit lift the rest of the stack and slide the last negative the bottom negative out and you want to make sure you don't rub the edge the corner of the negatives on the emulsion side and then just place it on top and push it down thoroughly don't let it float and to get a more even development i rotate 180 degrees the negatives halfway to my development time number 13 is transfer all your negatives together drip them down a little bit and quickly move them to the next path so number 14 is to use surfactant in the last step of the washing process so that the water is going to drip off uh, when you're going to hang the negatives and if in where you live the water is particularly hard so it has a lot of salt dissolved in it then i would suggest to use a small amount of uh, deionized water for your last wash final tip number 15 is to use proper stainless steel clips to hang your negatives as you can see uh, different clips uh, can uh, rust or leave some uh, metallic debris that can ruin your negatives so invest and buy some proper uh, stainless steel clips that's all uh, i hope this is going to help you in uh, getting some streak free and very nice and even film to enjoy your pictures and i'm going to link below to a document that summarizes all these 15 steps that i hope can help you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time